So let's implement the other two REST API endpoint. First one is to fetch the other user block and second one is to delete a single block. So to understand uh, fetch the other user block, let me give you a uh, whole data what we have in a back. So first let me show you that in a user database, how many user I have. I have three user, devstack06, which we are currently using. And these two user I made for the testing purpose. The first one is test123 and second one is example123. So these three data I have in a backend. And in the block post model, I mean the block post collection, what I have that I have this many blocks right now. So these three blocks we already fetch and I showed you on a postman that the own user block we have over here that three own user block we are getting from the backend and the username is devstack06 because we are using it right now. So this three is the blocks of the devstack06 and here is the block for the test123. We have a two block of the test123 and one block for the example123. So if I will fetch the data of the other user then I have to show these three block only not this devish type block okay so let's make this on a vs code so what we have to do is let me just copy this thing because i don't want to write the whole code again because it's basically a get request and i will just change the name of the endpoint get other block okay again we are using the middleware to check token to verify a user and uh, here let me just delete this thing and then you will get a proper idea. So I'm just deleting it and I will hit the save and uh, let me just call this endpoint on a postman that what will be the data we will get from the backend. And here what I have to do that I will just call this endpoint and let me send it. And in the response what you will get that you will get all the data of the Davis stack 06 user of the test123 user and example123 user because in the VS code here we are not providing anything so basically here we have to write a logic that we just want to fetch the data of the other user not the Davis stack 06 because in the header, we are providing the token of the Davis tag 06 and the middleware dot checkon, we are testing, the, uh, we are checking that token and after it, in the request dot decoded dot username, we are getting back the username. So the username is Davis tag 06 because we are providing the token of the Davis tag 06. So here we have to write a logic that we don't want to fetch the uh, same user data like devstack06 data we don't want to fetch we just want to fetch the other user data and how we will do that to do that we just have to use the username again and here we have to use additional parameter so the additional parameter is not equal to we don't want to fetch the same user data so here we are writing a logic that if the username is not equal to the request dot decoded dot username okay so if the username is not equal to the same username which we are using then we will only fetch the data and if i will hit the save and uh, i will go on a postman and again i will send the request then you will see that we are getting uh, only three data, I mean three response. First one is the test123, second one is also test123, and third one is example123. Because I saw that same thing on a uh, database, what we have in a database that we have a uh, three data only of the other user. That's why we are getting the three data over here of the other user. So let me explain you again that here I'm just write a query that 
if the username is not equal to this is a query for the not equal to in a mongodb the username we are providing then only we will fetch the data because we don't want to fetch the same user data we just want to fetch the other user data so this endpoint will be responsible for getting the other user block so let's create an endpoint for the deleting a block and how we will delete a block we will delete a block with help of the id so let me create an endpoint and let's delete a single block so the endpoint will be a simple one like delete and what we have to provide is we just have to provide the id and here we will use a delete request i mean delete http request i think you are learning a lot through this video so please try to subscribe and like the video and also share the video to grow this channel because i'm just covering the every aspect of the development of the mongodb and the node.js and the flutter please try to help me also to hit the subscribe button and to share this video and also comment it if you have any suggestion or improvement so i will just copy and pasting the middleware.check token because we have to authorize a user then i will use the request and response and here what we have to do is that we have to write the query we will write the query on a blog post because we have to delete a blog and what will be the query the query will be the find one and delete find one and remove okay oh no no not that one find one and delete that is the query and uh, here what we have to do is here we have to just provide the id and we have to get the id from the request dot params dot id and a callback function will be error and the result okay and now let me delete it and if there is an error then just simply return a response dot json a error otherwise if i'm writing a query like if result if anything in the result then i'm returning a let me just give uh give you a logic that i'm just use the console.log to show you that what will i get on a result so you will get a clear idea of this logic i will printing a result and if the result have anything then only we will say that the blog is deleted let me give you a scenario let me first write this code and i will return a message response dot json blog deleted okay otherwise if this is not in case then i will simply it will be a else if i will simply return a response dot json blog not deleted and i will give you a scenario that why i wrote this thing okay so let me call this delete one on a postman the postman we have a get other block okay and uh, let me create another request for you and you can see that how i make a request over here this one will be a delete block request and uh, in a delete block request what will be the type the type is delete in the authorization and the header we have to provide the token first so the key is authorization and i will use the token of the dev stack 06 
okay and i will provide over here the token then i will save it and here you have to write the whole endpoint name http slash slash local host okay just wait a minute local host colon python slash blog post and the endpoint is delete and we have to provide the id over here so let me just create another endpoint to i'm just showing you the thing that how you have to be productive on a postman also so this is the endpoint for the getting the own block so let me hit it and now we have the data of the own block and i will make another request for the fetching the gate data of other block so i will be productive that uh, what i want to show you i will show you that just wait a minute get data of other block i will query i will use the endpoint of the other and we will fetch the data but we have to just provide the again a token the key is authorization not here here the key is authorization and we have to provide the token of the dev stack 06 okay and hit the save and fetch the other user block so this many block we have up for the other user and this many block we have for the dev stack 06 and i want to delete the block so let me delete the own data right now here this is the id and i have to provide the id over here and uh, if i will hit the send then i got a message that block deleted let me go on a vs code and uh, this thing we got on a console because we console log the result that's why we are getting a console log over here and if the console if the result have something which means i mean the else if result if result is empty then it will return a zero otherwise it return a one that's why we came in this condition and it returning the block is deleted okay so if i will go on uh, get own data and make a request again then you will see that we have just two block okay uh, earlier we had three block right now we have a two block okay and let me just go on a delete block and if i will provide a id like one two three four and if i will post it then we are getting this kind of response that path region this because this is an error and uh, here we didn't print anything because in the result we didn't have anything okay and now what we have to i want to show you that if i want to delete the other user block also with the dev stack user so let me just delete the other user block with the dev stack okay and if i want to delete it then you can see that i can delete the other user block also because we are getting a block delete deleted as a response and if i will go on here and make a again send request then you will see that right now we have a two uh, data on a response for the test one two three and uh, example one two three maybe i am not confusing you i just want to explain you that uh, this endpoint can delete the other user block also and uh, you know that uh, unauthorized user i mean uh, other user cannot delete the other user block so we have to implement in logic that uh, devstack 06 user cannot delete the block of the test123 or example123 
which means the other user block. So how we can implement the logic that uh, dev stack 06 user, I mean the a user cannot delete the other user block. So to implement that logic, we have to use the end operator on a mongoose. And how we will use the end operator? So let me just use this thing. Okay. And here we have the end operator on a mongoose, which means on a MongoDB. And here we will provide two things. First one will be the this query and before that query I will write in query that if the username is the same username request.decoded username if the username is the same we are getting on a decoded then only we will delete the blog okay which means we will delete the blog if the username have the same username with the same ID so with help of that our username have a dev stack 06 cannot delete the username have a test123. Uh, we created a validation that a user cannot delete the other user block. Let me test it on a postman. Now here we have our two block and in the two block it's a other user data and if I want to delete the other user data over here so what I will get, let me show you. Block not deleted because a user want to delete the other user data. So this, this is the thing I want to show you that uh, now we can delete a block of the same user and we implemented a validation for the user who cannot delete other user blog and we also implemented a logic for getting the other user blog which means the purpose of this video is now completed just want to show you that something that we have to change over here something that instead of this thing to get a data of the like share in the comment because we are not getting our data over here for the like share and comment we have to set the default as a zero the default value of the like share and comment as zero we just have to copy it and uh, when we make the post method on add block then next time when we will fetch the data we will get the like share comment as a zero so let me just make it exit comment as a zero and hit the save and uh, let me just go on a post blog data the end one for posting a blog data and if I will hit the scene the blog will be added and we will get the result like share and comment and all are zero because we set the default as a zero 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 so that's it for this video and if you are liking it please hit the subscribe button and please like the video and please share it also comment it if you have any query or you want to give a suggestion and if you want to give some kind of suggestion on making a video please write the comment and maybe this video is not confusing I showed you all the thing I showed you that how you can manage the thing on a postman because it's very important for the backend developer to manage the thing on a postman he or she had to test a dozen of I mean dozen of uh, endpoint daily and daily basis thank you all happy coding and see you on the next video